Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Hey, my name is Raghav. I'm Ash. And in this video, we'll be making the famous Dishum House Black Dal. Yeah, so we love Dishum so much. We Every time we go to Dishum, we order this dal. Um, and yeah, we tried it a couple of days ago. It turned out amazing. It's, it's spot on. The yeah. flavors are really good. And you know the best part about it? It's so simple. It's just three spices. And a lot of the effort is just watching yeah. it cook. Uh, so we hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, let's get this started. Yeah, let's get into it. So the ingredients we will need today are two third teaspoon of chili powder, one third teaspoon of garam masala, eight grams of salt, 90 grams of unsalted butter, 10 grams of ginger, 12 grams of garlic, 70 grams of tomato puree, and 90 milliliters of double cream. Of course, the main ingredient is urit dal, so we need 300 grams of this. Um, you can find this anywhere in the Indian shops. So we will wash this three times before we start cooking. You can see how much dirty water is coming out. So with the washed dal, you put it in a pressure cooker. So with dals, you can make it without the cooker, but it will take double the time, or if not more. So just to speed it up, uh, we'll use this. Um, so uh, put the dal in here. Did the footage? To my sister. Why are you the way that you are? What's up, bro? The bloopers are gonna come. The what? Bloopers. <laughs> One blooper came. Pour the dal in this. <laughs> Do we need more? Just a tad bit more. There's roughly double the quantity of the dal. So we won't add anything else right now. So yeah. We close this. So we will put this for roughly six to seven whistles. Um, so now whilst we are waiting, we'll prepare the spice mix. Yep, so for the spice mix, the first thing is to grate the ginger and the garlic. That's nicely nice. done, Ashi, nicely done. <laughs> so now we'll just mix the paste. So I'll mix everything apart from the butter in here. Okay. Yep. So the, uh, in the tomato paste, first we'll have the ginger, sorry, the garlic. This is the ginger. Yep. Then the red chili powder, salt, and the garam masala. So mix it well. Okay, it's just already smelling good. Probably the tomato puree and the spices together. Yep, I think that's looking good now. So yeah, just the final whistle and then we'll turn off the gas and let it cool down on its own. It's very important to not to open the lid. Once you've heard six whistles, it's ready to go. Right, so it's been a couple of minutes uh, since the cooker has been cooling down. So we'll open the lid. Mm. Very nice. So as you can see the beans, uh, the dal has like uh, swirled up with water. It's looking more creamy. It's looking very creamy and nutty. So if you want, you can <laughs> eat it like this. Thank you for watching us. If you're still watching. So now we will take a karai um, and pour the dal in it. So 
So once I have the dal, I'm gonna pour water. Uh, so we wanna pour enough to cover the dal and roughly two centimeters above it, as it's gonna simmer for some time. So I think that's roughly two centimeters above it. What do you think, Ash? Yeah, yeah. So now to this, now the main part. So to this, we'll add our spice. Oh, it smells so good. The tomato and garlic is so good together. Okay, so... So yeah, we'll mix it well. Uh, Ash is kindly doing this for us. You can mash some of the dal so it gets more creamier. Okay, so the next step is to add the butter. So again, it's a 90 grams butter. And one thing to remember, this is unsalted butter, because if you use salted butter, obviously your salt uh, quantity will have to change when we added the spice. So I think we'll have to let it uh, heat up again. Wow, the color is already showing as, you know, the dishum dal we get. Yeah, it's going to start getting creamier as time goes. So I think that's the best part f for me for this dish. How, how we'll wait uh, for one hour. Uh, yeah, you just let it cook for one hour and it thickens and it, the flavors intensify. Yep. And it gets creamier and creamier with time. Yep. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll let it heat up and mix again. Yeah, just mixing the dough, um, just so that it doesn't touch the bottom. Stir it a couple times and then close the lid again. It's been on now, the dough has been simmering. We'll add the cream now. So again, if you want to keep the dal light, you can use yogurt. So the dal is ready. It's been another half an hour. So it's been 90 minutes in total. Um, let's see. So you have nice and creamy. It's the perfect consistency, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's gone really thick. Um, the cream has made it even more creamier than it was before. Absolutely perfect. Right, shall we plate it? Yeah, yep. let's do it. So yeah, as you can see, we plated the dal. Um, you can obviously have um, roti, fulka. We've plated it with garlic naan. Um, we've got rice, uh, some yogurt, onion salad. And of course, you cannot leave out the lime pickle. <laughs> right, yep. And I think that's what we always get, uh, house black dal and garlic naan when we are at Dishu. Um, so yeah, you can accompany it with uh, whatever you like. Should we try the dal? Yeah, let's try so it. So moment of truth. <laughs> Cool down. <laughs> mm. So good. So I think the dal was really good, very nutty, very creamy. Mm -hmm. uh, the flavors are really on point. I think it, it does make it worth the wait, the 90 minutes. So It does take a while, but I think, yeah, definitely worth the wait. Yeah. And I think it only gets better the more yeah. you leave it out. Mm. Uh, the more creamier it is, the better the taste is. Um, so if you leave it on for a long period of time, it will get thicker and thicker. So um, really down to your preference how thick you want it. Um, 
we've left it on for an hour and a half. Yeah. And so it's it's been great. Um, this is exactly how you get at the shoe. But yeah, you could get it more thicker if you want. Hope you found this video useful. And if you have tried this recipe already and you have your favorite uh, sides that you've plated it up with, share it in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Mike is ready, yeah? <laughs> Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We've plated the doll with... You want this? It's, it's fine, boo. Keep it same as we... Achieve this spoon, Nicole. <laughs> it's creamy, it's nutty, it's amazing. It's the best I'll be. Yeah. This is good, Chamashli.